Welcome back to another video, Soil here and today I want to introduce a wonderful indicator on TradingView that forecasts the market future by giving probabilities on the possible movements of the market. To add this amazing indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search probability cones, this one which is an editor specs indicator and it's written by someone named Joe Boss. All right, the indicator has been already added to our chart and as you can see, it's in the form of a cone plotted on the right side of the chart. Actually, three different cones with different colors. This indicator is built based on Laplace distribution. In statistics, the Laplace distribution is a probability distribution to model a phenomenon when data has a higher peak than the normal distribution. It's also called double exponential distribution because it can be thought of as two exponential distributions. Laplace distribution is used for modeling and signal processing, various biological processes, and also finance and economics. And this indicator, by forecasting this statistical distribution from a set point extended to the future, it gives us some probabilities on the possible movements of the market. All right, now let me explain how you can interpret this indicator. First of all, like any other statistical principles, we have an assumption here, and it's that the Laplace distribution that is starting from the cones region here and it's based on a sample of historical candles in the past it's probable that it's going to represent the distribution of future prices if you're familiar with probability so you know that when we say something is for example 90 percent probable to happen it means that if we repeat that experiment 100 times over and over on average 90 times at say when and the 10 percent loss is still here to happen even for example more than 10 times because when it comes to probabilities we are dealing with average not fixed numbers all right now let me show you what we have here this middle line which is an orange color is the mean and the price is supposed to typically be more around its mean and when the price is far from the mean we expect it reverse back to the mean this is our first cone which is in green color the upper line is one deviation above the mean and the lower line is one deviation below the mean in other words the first cone is one deviation from the mean. Statistically, it's proven that 68% of the price movement stays inside the first cone. So if the price goes outside this green cone, there is 68% probability that the price will come back to the cone and approach to the mean. The second cone, which is in blue color, is actually two deviation from the mean. It's statistically proven that 90% of the price movement stays inside the second deviation cone. So if the price goes outside this blue cone, there is 90 95% probability to have a reversal. And the third cone, which is in red color, is actually three deviation from the mean. And it's proven statistically that 99.7% of the price movement stays inside this uh, third deviation cone. So if the price goes outside this red cone, there is 99.7% probability to have a reversal. One point that you must pay attention is that because here we are dealing with prices that typically move in trends with different degree of strength, so when the momentum is strong, we can have the price above the first cone or below the first cone and you may see it maintains itself above or below the first cone. This can also happen with the second cone when the momentum is very strong. It's exactly like overbought or oversold conditions. If you have worked with, for example, with RSI, so you know that when the trend is strong, you may have your RSI in overbought condition and maintaining that condition or regularly showing overbought when the trend is strong. This can happen also with divergences. If you're familiar with them so because of this reason it's better to use a momentum indicator with these cones like MACD so you can also evaluate momentum this indicator is a very good choice to be used in reversal trading strategies where for example you have a bullish signal and the price is also for example below the second cone so you can conclude that there is statistically 95% probability to have price reversal the important point with this indicator is that you should never use it alone for your trading decisions and you must use it in conjunction with other indicators or in other strategies like the reversal strategy I just mentioned and it should be more relied upon as a confirming tool. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.